Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Go ahead, like, and subscribe. We're talking about Nipsey Hussle. Literally screenshotted people putting out warnings and prayers for him months ago, if even, just hits hard. And then for his last tweet to be about him saying he has strong enemies or whatever just makes it more crazy. The documentary was supposed to be making its way to the big screen soon and he was going to expose the truth. Y'all get y'all mind right, man. Let these people lie to y'all. Of a Nipsey was super woke and he was way beyond his time. You will not be forgotten. God got you now. Rest in peace, Nipsey Hustle. You're not gonna get away with nothing. Oh, yeah. That's a long list. You know what I'm saying? The favorite one, though, I would say my spirit. It appears that Nipsey Hussle has been shot and he is confirmed to be dead at this point. Um, I was coming home and I'm supposed to be on a social media break, but this is very, very sad news. This is very sad news. Something that, you know, I mean. Boy, this shit, this shit is so fucking crazy. This shit is so fucking crazy. Look, y'all, it's people, it's people or whatever then, then all this shooting. You know, they, they, they get that shit or whatever, so everybody can say or whatever that the shit gang related, but it, it's really, it's really not, it's really not. All right, so let me just say. I feel like from the moment it was known to the public that Nipsey was doing this documentary on Dr. Sabi, it was going to be problems. And I knew that they want to per perpetrate this thing in the media like it could possibly be gang related. I don't believe that. I believe that in in today's world, when you're studying things that could really cure people, you're targeted. Just take a minute to search all the doctors that were studying alternative methods to curing cancer, for example, that are dead. Because they know cancer is not a life or death anymore, yet they keep... Pumping these medicine in people, killing them. It's more profitable to poison us with all these medicines than to actually heal us. So I knew from the beginning he was going to be a target. And who knows what's going to happen with this documentary now. I hope it's finished. I pray that this is finished. Y'all can believe what y'all want, but I personally believe this was an assassination. It was not no gang affiliation, none of that. It was solely because of his search to put out this documentary on Dr. Sabi. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And so you know how they play. Oh, yeah. You know, niggas just tweet me, hustle, be careful, man. Your plane gonna go down. I say, you better ride for me. Yeah, yeah, that's what me. I'm saying. Don't, don't pray. You yeah. know, niggas just tweet me, hustle, be careful, man. Your plane gonna go down. I say, you better ride for me. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. Don't, don't pray. You know, niggas just tweet me, hustle, be careful, man. Your plane gonna go down. I say, you better ride for me. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Don't, don't pray. Okay, the enemy's hand is all in this. I'm gonna give you some information that you need to know. One. Five shots to the body, one to the head. Five shots to the body, one to the head. That is a military style hit. It was in and out. The way it happened was in and out very quick. The United States government, and I just say this specifically, in downtown LA a couple months ago, have been practicing military drills. Downtown LA, they were practicing military drills. Going in and out of businesses, 
and they've been practicing on maneuvers in downtown LA. Now, I want you to understand this. There have not been major gang wars in a while. There have not been major gang wars in quite some time. And because of this, the government, how you doing, brother? The government does not have a justifiable reason to bring down the National Guard. So what this has done is this has now sparked the 40s, 60s, multiple hoods to trigger. And once you get these hoods to trigger, once you get these hoods to retaliate against one another, it then gives the government justification to bring down the National Guard. That's what it does. Okay? They have been planning this for quite some time. And I'm saying this because if you are from the hood, do not, do not, I'm saying this for the Bloods, Crips, anybody in the hood, do not start shooting at other hoods. Do not start shooting at other hoods. That is not how you handle this. The enemy has been all in this. Just understand that. Right now, this is where I'm at. The enemy has his hands all in this. And if you are not going to retaliate in the proper manner, and what I what I mean by this is, this is a time for the... So this is the guy that you just heard speaking. He's saying that his name, by the way, Riza Islam. I hope that's how you say it. If not, I'm sorry. He said, just left the store where Nipsey Hussle was murdered. To every hood, understand this was the enemy. They have been conducting military drills in L.A. for months. They want a justification to come in and murder us all. As your brother, I beg you, please do not kill one another. Unite. Update. Three drive-by shootings have already happened. If you are in the hood, call an immediate ceasefire on all sides. First off, to the family of Nipsey Hussle, being born in Compton, I already know that saying we are sending prayers doesn't heal the pain. It is simply proper to offer for a loved one. This is terrible, and I cannot sugarcoat the level of pain that all of us feel, especially the family. This hurts. To our sister, Laura London, sister, the passion and the heart that our brother had did not stop with him. It transfers into all of us. So you have gained an army of brothers and sisters who stand for principles just as our brother did. We all love you and pray that Allah gives Following breaking news from Hyde Park, where multiple people have been shot outside of rapper Nipsey Hussle's store. What's happening, y'all? It's your boy Nipsey Hussle. Long winded, running through this life like it was mine. Never settling, but setting every goal high. 1,000 burpees on the path to my own destruction or success. But what is a mistake without the lesson? See, the best teacher in life is your own experience. None of us know who we are until we fail. They say every man is defined by his reaction to any given situation. Well, who would you want to define you? Yeah, we're learning new information. Uh, TMZ and other sources reporting that rapper Nipsey Hussle has died after this afternoon shooting out in front of his shop here. Take a look behind me. It is a massive crime scene. You know, and if you look where, let me show you. Stand by right here. This, this is where the police was busting from. And police is trained shooters. Police don't miss. And, you know, he, he busting like this in a full clip. And he didn't hit my brother at all. It's fucked up. 
This is here at Crenshaw and also Slauson Avenue in the Hyde Park area. Unclear uh, the other victim's conditions at this time. We're told that three people were shot. <laughs> Uh, that's car, the Beamer. We've been through so many different tumultuous situations in the parking lot, but the purpose was for what's going to happen on June 17th. I brought up that story just to let you know, like, you know, um, you know, it was a higher purpose, I believe, for what we're doing over here. It wasn't to get in trouble with the police. It wasn't to be a menace to the area. It wasn't to, you know, continue a tradition of self-destruction. It was it was to build. And so all the obstacles and everything we went through for being misjudged and misunderstood, um, you know, it didn't stop us. You know, it did it wasn't it wasn't a brick wall, it was a speed bump, you know. And it was I embrace it as as, you know, the resistance, the gravity. I'm trying to do something great. You can see the scene. Now take a look at this video. Sky Fox overhead in the Hyde Park neighborhood after reports of the shooting with multiple victims just after 3.20 this afternoon. Multiple sources reporting that rapper Nipsey Hussle, whose real name is Ermias Asgium, was shot and killed. The 33-year-old was shot outside of his clothing shop called Marathon that he opened back in 2017. In 1979, I think it was, uh, you were uh, uh, you were charged in New York City with practicing medicine without a license. You were ultimately charged, indicted, and taken before the New York Supreme Court. Charged, indicted, and taken before the New York Supreme Court. And I would advise my viewers who might be questioning your authenticity that you won that case. Now, what were the, so the charge was practicing medicine without a license and, <laughs> and claiming that you had a remedy to cure AIDS, cancer, and diabetes. AIDS, cancer, and diabetes. It's a lot of little jewels that you're saying in there. That's what I like. Like I said, the medicine really isn't the candy. Because even when you drop a ball like about Dr. Sebi. Yeah. Like just that one thing they killed Dr. Sebi will make somebody go research who Dr. Sebi is. Dr. Sebi. Dr. Sebi. 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 My bad. I said it wrong. Yeah. 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 I'm a LA nigga, Sebi man. Too. My lingo a little different. Have you met Dr. Sebi? I never met him. I met his wife. And I, I take his products for sure. Now, the coolest guy ever. I mean, he was... Uh, when we interviewed him, I think he was about 74. Oh, yeah, I interviewed him? You interviewed him twice. Damn. Not here, but when I was on the other show. He was able to jump from the floor up here on his knees. At 70-something. He up on his knees Damn. and jump back down and no problems, nothing like that. Why, why you think he, he killed him? So the question is, how did you win that case against what some people say are the toughest prosecutors in the land? Well... It was nineteen. It was nineteen eighty-seven. Eighty-seven, not seventy-nine. Eighty-seven. The tenth of February. Okay. My mother knew they were coming. When I told my mama that I had cured my thirteen AIDS patient, she said, "They gonna get you. They gonna get you." So let me stop you there. You said I cured my thirteen AIDS patients. Yeah. So you had. 13 patients yeah. who had AIDS, yeah. and then you say you cured. you cured them. Sure. Keep talking. So, my mother said, they're going to get you. I said, but mom, why are they going to get me? Because you must remember that you live in a society that support a certain philosophy and a certain system. You being the color that you are, black, and then you're going against the grain, they're going to get you. So, when I'm in my office on February the 10th, here come the detectives. 
Your job with practicing medicine without a license, selling products not approved by the FDA, and claiming to cure AIDS and other diseases. Oh. I said, yes. Well, you are making a fraudulent claim. I asked the detective, how do you know that? Because, because you were advertising in newspapers. Of course. I advertised in the Village Voice, the Amsterdam News, and the New York Post. And you were telling people in your through your advertising that you can cure AIDS, sickle cell, lupus, herpes, blindness, diabetes, paralysis, and others. Uh -huh. Okay, so they come knocking on the door and... and so knock on my door and took me to jail. But the funny thing about it, I was happy. I was very, very extremely happy. When everybody in my office was crying, I was happy because my mama told me they were coming. And I knew that I had sufficient evidence to prove my position, not only scientifically, empirically, historically, and whatever way they would like this time. It's crazy. I'm in the middle of doing this holistic detox right now. Day six of 14. Yeah, you was telling me. Yeah. So. No food, nothing. And they said it actually can help cure fibroids. It can um, help you if you are, you know, cancer, any right. type of heart issues. And it's all natural herbs and all organic and all holistic yeah, without yeah. actually going to a doctor and getting, exactly. you know, pharmaceutical. Yeah. You, how you feel? You feel, you feel I actually feel pretty good. Do you feel a difference, you think? I do. That's it right. could be also because I've cut a lot of things out and I haven't had any food, nothing solid at all right. in the past six days. But I feel all right. Better right. than I thought. Right. Just to go back to the Dr. Sebi thing real quick. What makes you want to do a CB. documentary? Do okay, CB. get it right, man. What makes you want to do a documentary about Dr. CB? Um... I think the story is important. I think it's a powerful narrative. It is. You know what I mean? And I think if, imagine this. Anybody in this room, if I could say, hey, somebody cured AIDS, y'all be like, yeah, right. And then I could show you an example of him going to trial and proving in a court to a jury that he cured AIDS. Y'all would be interested in that. Absolutely. Absolutely. And y'all would look into the way he did it, right? So I feel like more so than like champion his products or explaining his methodology, put some light on that case. So while I was in jail, I'm saying, I wonder what defense they would have against me. Yeah. I would like to know. <clears throat> but I didn't blame the Attorney General, Mr. Robert Abrams, mm -hmm. because why should he accept from me the statement that I cure AIDS and sickle cell yeah. and blindness? Yeah. When no one else has ever made those claims, uh -huh. the man had a right to arrest me, but he was making a mistake. So I'm sitting in jail, and I'm happy. When I got out of jail, and I began to, when I went in front of the judge, I asked three questions. And they were? They were, Your Honor. You defended yourself? Of course I did. Okay. Your Honor? Is it a fact that the Holy Bible teaches that the herbs are for the healing of the nations? She said, yes. Is it a fact that science shows that the human body is carbon-based and to complement a carbon-based body, you must have a carbon-based substance to complement it? Because the body only accepts the substance through the process of chemical affinity. Chemical affinity is important. It's an electrical transfer. Chemical affinity. Okay. The body could only accept what it is made of, not something new or alien to it. Last question. Your Honor, is it a fact that the father of medicine Mr. Hippocrates, the man that established the principle of medical science today, cured every disease known to man. Did he use herbs or chemicals? She said herbs. I said thank you very much. I rest my case. Imagine being able to cure cancer or being able to cure any type of herpes, just yeah. all kinds and of And that's what he do, by and the that's way. That's what he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, yeah. He's, he used to send all types of, of vitamins up to the station. Uh, you had herpes? No. I said vitamins <laughs> to the station. <laughs> did you hear me? I said vitamins Not anymore, to the station. Damn, man. <laughs> this guy is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what?
And just as I was about to close my video, I come across this fuck shit. This fool talking about he the one who shot Nipsey Hussle. If this ain't just like this is where we live in now, where everybody just want clout, everybody just want fame. This fool won't go on Instagram and say he the one who shot Nipsey to be famous. This fool ain't shot no damn Nipsey, but let's inter let's indulge him for one fucking second. Oh, so you telling me that everybody else on this...